Hey guys, it's Melissa from Silhouette School. I have a new toy. So excited to finally be able to quote unquote unbox the Epson 570. This is uh, Epson's larger format, obviously. It's a 24 inch dye sublimation printer um, meant for home use. So obviously it's a big boy. Um, I also have the 170, which is much smaller, eight and a half um, inches wide and you can print it pretty extensively. Uh, but this one is 24 inches wide and as you can see, even though this is an unboxing, I already have it out of the box. The reason being it showed up on my doorstep and I thought, oh, I'll just take it out of the exterior box, but there was no interior box. So once I opened that up, it was no real way to, for me to carry it all the way upstairs to my office here. So this is what you got. This is pretty much um, what it looks like in the box. I'm gonna, we're gonna go through and see everything that it, in, that it comes with because one of the benefits of the 570, the F570, is the fact that it just comes with so much stuff from ink to supplies. Um, you have a lot of stuff to keep you going for a long time. In fact, it comes with so much ink that you can print up to 15, you could sublimate up to 15,000 mugs just on the ink that it comes with, okay? So we're gonna get to um, all of that and the benefits and different things like that, but let's just look at what even comes with this. So to be completely honest, I don't even know what this is yet. Um, because everything is obviously still in the packing. I have not, this looks like it's some kind of support for if you're loading sheets, okay? All right, so I'm gonna take the, we're gonna kinda see what we can do here to move some of this stuff kinda out of the way um, and unbox this whole thing. Actually, let's put this over here and lay this over here. Okay, I'm standing on a stool because this thing was so big that down here I was too little. So I'm literally standing on a stool. Um, okay, so let's just see. I'll hop, hop back on my perch here in a few minutes, but let me get this plastic off of here so we can see what we're dealing with. I got a two-step stool, so I'm up on the highest step now. Okay, all right. It's telling you that you need to have two people to um, move this, and you do. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so let's keep all of this information. Whoa. Keep all of this paperwork while we just take off some of this store or some of this shipping material. All right, now I have a little bit, at least I have a little bit of room I can put stuff up on. Okay, so we're gonna, I'm just gonna put this stuff up here so you guys can see what we have. Okay, so we have one set of CMYK inks, okay? Each of these is 140 milliliters. When, you, when it's time to replace these, they cost between 20 and $25 for each one to replace. Again, 140 milliliters, however, the 570, the F570, comes with two sets of these. So you have a whole nother set to start with. So that's a total of 280 milliliters of each ink just to start. Just to give you an idea, if you're considering comparing this to an SG-1000, the SG-1000, which is Sawgrass's wide format sublimation printer, comes with 20 milliliters of ink. So 20 milliliters versus 280 milliliters of each color, okay? So just keep that in mind. Okay, then we have a pack of starter information and the power cord, and then we have, oh, it looks like they sent us um, some software, okay? I, I'm sure that you can download, download this um, from the website as well. Okay, but that's not all. Let me move some of this out of the way so we can we can show you, I can show you what else is included. Because not only is this machine big, the sublimation machine big, but it has a big price tag, okay? It's between $22 and $2,400, depending where and when you get it. But, like I said, that ink alone is a huge value. Okay, then it comes with two rolls of sublimation paper. Okay, so this is, uh, I think it's 17 inches, 100 feet sublimation paper. This one is the exact same thing. This is not craft paper. It's sublimation paper, just wrapped. 
Um, but this one is 24 inches wide, okay? Now you can print, obviously, since they sent it to you, you can print off the roll, but you can also, okay, this is a sublimation paper, you can also use a sheet, sheets, and feed sheets through. And not just large sheets, you can feed down to eight and a half by 11. So if you don't need to print a full 24 inch uh, project, you can print down to eight and a half by 11 on the, the sheet feeder as well, which is what I assume that this is going to be catching, okay? But as I said, we're gonna put this together. I'm gonna do a setup video separately because when you get an Epson, you do have to uh, put the inks in, which brings me to another point. A lot of people, especially in the craft market, buy Epson printers and convert them to sublimation. That's because for a long time, Epson didn't have designated sublimation printers, but now they do in the 570 and the smaller 170. So they, those, the 570 and the 170 are more expensive than most of the um, eco, eco, eco tanks and uh, the workforce Epson printers. However, these printers, the F570 and the F170, are de designated dye sublimation printers, which means they have a different type of print head. If you take sublimation ink and put it into um, an Epson printer that is not a sublimation printer, so you're converting, you are going to end up, one, voiding the warranty before you even make your first print, and two, eventually that print head is going to wear down because it's not built or designed to deal with sublimation ink, okay? So that might happen in three months, that might happen in a year, it might happen in two years, but eventually the print heads are going to wear out if you're converting a printer, all right? So just something to keep in mind. Now granted, this 24 inch printer is not gonna be for everybody, okay? But there is definitely gonna be some, there are definitely going to be some people who find that it's not as limiting as an eight and a half uh, inch wide printer. And the fact that it comes with so much ink makes that higher price tag worth it in the long run, okay? So we'll look at all of that in um, follow-up videos and tutorials on Silhouette School blog, but hopefully you, you know, got a good look at what everything is that comes with the Epson 570 right out of the box.